friends today we are going to try and do something that we have never done before that is try and see how much of coral draw we can cover in 15 minutes so the coral draw tool set and this is the corresponding uh, properties bar so i can change my page size from your directly as you can see. then this is the corresponding size so as i keep changing even the size will change uh, this is whether I want to change it to portrait or landscape. This is whether I want all my pages in the same uh, way, uh, in the in the same size throughout, or I want different different pages as and how I move ahead. Then this is whether I want my uh, what I want my uh, unit of measurement to be. As you can see, as I put inches, it will become inches, and so on and so forth this is my nudge distance and uh, as and how I move my particular object it will move ahead now let's start with creating an object now I take the rectangle tool I left click keep the left click pressed drag and release the left click so that is when I get a rectangle now, as you see all the properties have changed as soon as I click over here uh, you shall see that this particular thing becomes activated and with the help of this I can move this around but if I double click if I double left click on this it I can skew the particular object depending on how I want it to be done then you see the center dot so this is the center of rotation I can as I move it you can see the object rotates uh, along that center of axis then is our shape tool now the shape tool allows me uh, as this object is yet a rectangle it, it will allow me to work with this now as you can see these these measurements over here on top are changing right so if I don't want it to be very arbitrary I want it to be 1 and as it is locked it will come as 1 if I unlock this and I make this 2 so only that corner is going to become 2 inches where others are going to remain 1 so that is the option that I have here then I have this so and this again over here as I play with the pick tool I can keep playing with this now this has become 0 again they all will move together once I make it 0 ok so that's how this works then this is my outline so I can change the outline directly from here or I can change the outline by going down here so as the object is activated the 10 point here is also going to come here if I make it 4 point it will also come here so there are two ways of changing the outline then obviously that same thing even applies here that I choose the dotted line again when I come here the dotted line automatically gets activated right then if you see this see how what kind of a this will change the stroke of the outline how I want it and therefore the stroke will appear that way when you zoom in can you see that so it's going to appear as per your define fine the next one is our uh, let's get our rectangle back into shape okay and with the slide we come here and we say stretch 100 and angle 0 ok so this is how we work with this now let us come on to the next tool the, what is smooth tool and it will smoothen the so it works from nodes so it will as I keep clicking on the nodes it will keep smoothing them so this can be worked when you are having a sharp object 
the next is smear now smear basically gives you these kind of outputs now this is rounded if i make it sharp that same thing will come sharper okay next we look at the twirl tool now i only need to just come and keep left clicking while the twirl keeps happening on its own so the lesser the left click i do the smaller the twirl and the more i do this can also be done counter clockwise so this one will go this is going clockwise this is going counter clockwise so that can be worked on next is attract and repel so this is attract and this is repel so the direction that i move in here if i go in the opposite it will move inwards as you can see and if i come inwards it will move outwards so i can actually take the line itself and drag it outwards also next is the smudge tool the smudge tool let's increase this to 1.1 inch and that's what it does so inside outside it will just smudge next is the roughen tool in the roughen tool it will only make it now if i click here it will exactly give me the so you have to come right on the line and click this if i make it 6 let's see what happens and i come here and i say i click so these these the roughen tool can be very well worked uh, when you are doing any kind of electrical circuit drawing or things like that so that will work crop tool so what does crop tool the object is activated i click here and i say crop now it is only going to give me this much well visually according to you uh, you are seeing that it is just a black line but if you realize that the fill has been activated not the outline so it is a fill so if i how do i fill it with the come to the color and just left click then when i come here and i use the shape tool to get my node can you see this is a fill so that's how crop tool works right next is knife tool now as you can see this is again become a whole object once i press control z i fill in color now i use the knife tool throughout the object so what happens in this this object here i it is i'll have to ungroup it when i ungroup it what do i get the outline gets cut now unlike the crop tool it is yet the outline then i come here and i'll have to you see this even my inner part has also got cut but let's say that this is not what i want to cut i want to cut only that much okay so what happens is that this is another way once i ungroup it this is don't cut through the object so your this color is going to be full wherever you are from the point that you have cut is going to it's separated you can see that so the nodes have separated so all i need to do is come here and say close this and i'll get a perfect duplication so if you have created a complicated object this could just use the knife tool and you get a direct duplicate if that is another way of doing it then you get a visual segment delete now i come here and i delete this segment now what did it delete it deletes from node to node okay let's zoom in so it deletes from 
node to node you can see there was a node here this whole segment didn't have any node so the whole segment is gone so it deletes node to node let's say we take this we make this here and we weld it so it has become a part of the object now when i come here and i say i i you will have artworks where you will have these things coming out now if you don't want that anymore you delete the segment so that is what delete segment is what is eraser eraser basically works whether you move it inside or outside okay it will always erase within the object now in this you can have a circular shape eraser or a rectangle shape eraser right so that's the choice the next is the zoom tool as we all know this is for zooming in you click over here it zooms out even you can use the track ball to zoom in and zoom out and in the zoom tool you can see these so this is zoom to page so it will directly go to the page this is zoom to width so width of the page zoom to height it will go to the height of the page that same thing can be done from here zoom to page width height and there and again this is zoom to object yes so the shortcut of that is again f4 then the next one is pan so this is when you have uh, even the track ball could be used to zoom now panning is like when you using the hand tool now as you can see the slider also moves so if you are not using that you are on some other tool you could pan directly with the slider itself so friends if this video is uh, uh, is what you like then please like and subscribe and comment on this particular thing so that i will now henceforth make these kind of uh, videos and if you want a detailed explanation for every tool that i went through in this 10 minutes i would really like you to go back to that first video which uh, explains it in length and go there and view it thank you